welcome everyone today we are exploring the widely used experiment ic50 or half maximal inhibitory concentration this tutorial will guide you through analyzing ic50 in gen5 software with ease we will cover essential steps including protocol setup procedure plate layout data reduction report generation or export builder so let's start first of all i want to show you a very important data sources if you visit the agelent.com and search here in the search bar dot xpt that is the extension file of gen5 experiment click here and search and if you scroll down here you can see gen5 and lhc sample file click here click here on plus button so these are the example data file stored at the agelent.com website and you can use these experiment file to know the experimental setup in gen5 software like protocol setup procedure plate layout data reduction export everything about the gen5 experiment according to your experiment you can select the file download it and check that how they have set up the experiment and what are the condition for the data analysis in respect to experiment so for the ic50 ic50 toxicity assay click here the experiment file will be downloaded just click here to open the file here plate one data and the observance and 620 and if you click here select the plate layout and in the plate layout two type of the sample sample one and sample two with the dilution 10 20 30 40 50 60 in triplicate with the condition and also positive control and the blank in both type of the sample and you can check the percent toxicity by selecting here and you can also check the result so how you can use this information for your experiment so first click here on the plus button and if you click here on the procedure see here the read and if you just double click for this particular experiment they have used the absorbance in point speed normal and the wavelength 620 nanometer but you can change according to your drug and the required wavelength and also you can add more wavelength if you have any reference wavelength in your experiment so i'm going to close this and the next is plate layout you can check the plate layout how they have set up the plate layout and maybe in your case the plate layout will be different set up in this way for your experiment like assay control you control one control two and the blank one blank two and the sample one and two in different dilution so i'm going to close because i'm going to show you from the scratch how you can set up when you are going to take the absorbance and performing the analysis in gen5 software but i'm just showing how they have performed in this particular file click here the data reduction in the data reduction there are two things transformation for the percent toxicity and the curve analysis and if you click here the transformation you can see here the formula how they calculated the percent toxicity and the data in what type of the data they have used to calculate the percent toxicity here is 620 but maybe if you are using the reference wavelength you can get here the subtracted value as well so you can use that to calculate that percent toxicity and if you click here formula editor you can see here there are more options to make the formula to calculate the percent toxicity and the curve analysis data in concentration at the x-axis concentration or dilution and the y-axis is toxicity if you click here curve fit so in this case four parameter non-linear regression and data out in the form of y value 50 percent so i will show you how you can prepare your protocol for your experiment so i'm going to open the new task just to show you how you can prepare your protocol and acquire your data from your plate for this click here on new so the new protocol is open here and click here on the read and i'm going to put the same value 620 nanometer but you can add if you have the reference wavelength click ok for the plate layout we can select here the sc control and the sample and the number of different controls so i'm going to add four control one control two blank one blank two and the sample click on next for the control we have in triplicate click next and control 2 also in triplicate and the third is blank one also in triplicate blank 2 also in triplicate 
the sample 1 from some duplicate and dilution 10 20 30 40 50 and 60 click on the finish and here we can assign the sample and the control for the sample one we can assign here it's showing the vertically so we have horizontally in plate layout so i'm going to clear the well again select the sample and here you can see option to change the orientation now you can see it's showing the horizontally now i'm going to select this and 10 20 it automatically going to the next because next dilution it is checked here 16 and after sample so we have control one and below the control one we have blank one so i'm going to select and click here and now i'm going to add the sample 2 10 20 30 40 50 60 and the control 2 and blank 2 click here okay and if you select the layout you can see the layout that we have assigned for new experiment after plate layout i'm going to click here on the data reduction for the data reduction click here on the custom transformation and select the data in I'm going to select the 620 nanometer but if you have any reference wavelength you can use the subtracted value provide the any name for this transformation I'm going to provide the person toxicity and here use single formula for all wells I'm going to uncheck this because we have two type of the sample and the respective positive control and the blank so we cannot use the same formula for all the well and you can add the formula here to calculate the percent toxicity but if you use the formula it that will provide you more easy option to create the formula i'm going to select all the well from the sample one click here open formula editor you can see functions well id and data set and the variable for the well id we can use this to make the formula so for sample one small bracket open double click on the x this showing the respective well id and select the minus here and the blank one in the well id here you can see the blank one just double click small bracket close divided by small bracket open control one that is positive control minus blank one small bracket close you can select the star for the multiplication and click here 100 click ok so for the sample one formula is assigned to calculate the percent toxicity in the similar way select all the well for the sample two open formula editor small bracket open x minus blank two small bracket close divided by small bracket open control two minus blank two small bracket close into 100 click ok so formula is assigned for both type of sample click here ok so the next thing you have to assign the standard curve so here you can see those response if you click here you can use this to make the standard curve data in and the x-axis concentration or dilution y-axis we can select the toxicity if you click here curve so this is already selected for the four parameter non-linear regression so i'm not going to change this and the data out response percent 50 percent click here on ok up to this we have already set the procedure plate layout data reduction and the next thing is report and export builder so you can prepare report from here new report and select what you want in your report like system description procedure raw data calculated data matrix and the general format matrix row wise column wise you can select here click ok so after taking the absorbance you will get the all the your data in the report so i'm going to show you the experiment file that we have downloaded and if you want to export the report you can click here 
to export the report here in this report you can see the experiment detail layout result absorbance toxicity for each well and the curve for the sample one and the sample two as well and the curve fitting result here you can see and the curve interpolation that we set up for the percent toxicity here you can see for the sample one it is 36 0.12a and the sample 2 it is 32.786 so in this way you can get the result very easily in gen 5 software so i hope this information may help you to perform the ic50 experiment related to your project and if you like the video please subscribe my channel thank you